For this presentation, I will be discussing a Western Electric 440EC1A three line with hold and no lamp business telephone system. The telephone was made in 1946. The telephone switchboard, which is a central office switchboard, model number 12, was made in 1945. I have here a apparatus cabinet with two 1A KTUs that are so old they do not have a date. The two KTUs will be uh, used with this telephone to provide hold. I have two one-line KTUs, and then the telephone could have three lines associated with it. However, for what I'm doing, there will only be two. This was a very, very inexpensive way of providing hold and having a multi-line phone. There are other multi-line key phones that does not have lamps in it, nor is there provisioning on the line equipment for lamps. There's also different 1A systems that did have the ability to have lamps and more than two lines, uh, which I will be showing that on another video. Interior view of the telephone. The mounting cord was cut off when I bought this phone, so I've added a cable that will work uh, in order to hook up the lines. The telephone needed a minor adjustment, so I had to disassemble the key strip and make a slight repair on the keys. While doing that, I also added a high voltage buzzer because these phones only had one ringer and in order to have the second line uh, with a ringer or common audible, there was a separately mounted ringer. Also, the bell practice did show a bracket and a buzzer that could be mounted inside the phone. I've never seen one of those. Over here, we have the KTUs wired up and I'm gonna select the line and the L relay operated. And if I do that for line two, the second line will operate, which is the most extreme right relay. If you put the line on hold, and I go back to line one, which is the second uh, relay over, the most left relay is gonna operate and release the first line relay. So now there's a holding bridge across the line and then when you go back to that holding bridge and operate that line, then you can release it. The relays only operate from the phone line in series. They're very low winding relays. So there's no external 24 volt power to this unit. So I have basically uh, four wires between the phone and each of these 1A KTUs. As I stated earlier, this is a very primitive system. This was a um, super ridiculously off the charts, low budget key system, uh, but it did the job. This particular telephone company that is uh, in charge of this phone and the switchboard is a really cheap operation and does not want to have to pay a monthly fee for the hold feature or all of the additional lines. My phone bill is big enough as it is. Back in the day, the phone company actually did charge for the ability to put the call on hold. And then if it was a phone that could be illuminated, they charged to light the lights and it was done on a per button basis. So if you had four line phone and you had eight of them, you had uh, four times eight, and that's how many lamps they would have billed 
the customer for if the phones all had uh, their own individual lamps. One other method that was used is they put up a common lamp strip on a wall and then the lamps and the phones were not connected. So you could look at the lamp strip on the wall and determine what line was off hook or on hold if they went that route. Again, that was all to do with uh, economics. Rear of the 1A KTUs. There's two wires that goes to each phone line and four wires to each button inside of the key phone. This telephone has a rotary dial in it and this phone is being connected to a manual exchange and it would not have a dial. It would have a dial blank. Unfortunately, I do not have the correct dial blank for this phone, so I will have to be uh, in the market for one of those. On a manual system, a dial would have no value at all. The lamp that is on the most left-hand side on the third row up that has a vertical line on it is line one of this key system. Generally, you would have directly next to it line two. However, on my switchboard, I did not wire that out, so I have it on a different jack. Maybe someday I'll change that. And even in the early days, it, you may not be guaranteed to have two station numbers in sequential order. The wiring schematic of just the telephone itself. The schematic of the key telephone unit that's mounted in the apparatus cabinet. There are two of these, one for each line. I modularized this 1A key phone so that it can be moved around. Probably the only 1A KTU and 400 series phone that's uh, wired this way. Rear of the number 12 switchboard. This was involved in my 100-year telephone call that was made a year and a half or two years ago, and I'll put a link down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe and share. I do have a Patreon account for those who wish to help out. Have a great day. Thank you. I would just add this to the end of the video. Here is a 565 that would have been uh, what superseded the 400 series phones.